there are a few um so we know for sure that there's nintendo we're getting mm-hmm. that xbox bethesda and ubisoft i want to go heavy and start the conversation with a classic nintendo presentation okay. what do you guys Ooh. think we're going to see here i'm going to start with steve because i yeah. feel like you're a huge nintendo fan and i know I that it. you have yeah. a lot to say about this one Absolutely. I I think that we've oftentimes seen Nintendo come with the heat when it comes to E3. Like the past two, three years, excluding last year, because last year was just an overall mess. But 2018, 2019, they really brought the thunder during E3. And I'm mm-hmm. here for it. I, I And I think now that we've had like a year removed, I think this is an opportunity for them to do it again. Um, so one of my first predictions I want to go over is, of course, Smash. We got to talk Smash yeah. because... Yeah. We're reaching the end of the the second fighter pass, and at this point, I'm not too confident that we're going to get a third one. So it really comes down now to who are these last two fighters going to be? Who are the two? Master Chief. And that's and that honestly, uh, yeah, that is that is going to be one of my predictions. Is that my Ooh, Master Chief is going to okay. be the finale? Um, and Steve, which, uh, wait, which wait, wait, wait. Sorry to wait. you're writing all this yeah. down, so then we can say who's right and who's wrong after E3, exactly. right? Okay, because yes, that's exactly. very important. Everyone's writing rights is very like important. Yeah. Uh, so just like they did it in 2019, I think that they're going to open up the direct with a smash reveal and then close it out with a smash reveal as well. The first one, I think that how they open up, I think is going to be Crash or Ryu from Ninja Gaiden. Mm. I think those would be Ooh. two two solid that's gets cool. uh, for. For, for Smash and then yeah man give us Master Chief for the finale the last mm-hmm. fighter in the in the fighter pass especially if we're going under the assumption that there is some underlying relationship going on with Nintendo and Xbox lining up with the Xbox 20th anniversary and Halo's anniversary mm-hmm. I, th- I I can only see it happening and it, it works for both parties Nintendo gets to um really leverage this character on their platform and then xbox gets a little more a little additional recognition on on smash yeah that's my first one does anyone else have any smash predictions i was i was all in on the master chief one too but mainly because i don't know i I don't know enough about like that community and what's Mm -hmm. going on and why everyone like collectively is like master chief's gonna be in smash or why they want it but like Hell yes, that I am. I am down for that. That would be so much fun. Yeah. Um, but besides that, like uh, my prediction, you should probably just wait, Camille, because I know what you're gonna say, and oh. and I'll just I'll wait. just go off of that. What yeah. you know what I'm gonna say? I don't even know what I'm gonna say. What? Who for Nintendo, think, really? Who do you think I'm gonna say? What? Oh, for for predictions in terms of the presentation, every yeah, 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 oh yeah. everyone knows what I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, exactly. yeah. But for Smash specifically, I want to point out Masonator says that depending if Nether Realm is present or not, maybe Scorpion being in Smash due to the fact that uh, Ed Boon said he wants him maybe. to be in Smash. That would be a crazy yeah. reveal, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think. I that's don't think so happen. either. I, I think that character and that brand in general is just it comes from too much of like a violent game it's too taboo for like a smash yeah like how do you tone that down unless they went like super cheeky and they incorporated like the green blood and stuff like that like really like really went meta with it i don't know that'd be cool uh jonesy from fortnite is another i think i think that one's oh yeah that one's a possibility i really hope not no fortnite Please, yeah. please, PlayStation God, I have Nintendo gods, please. Uh, no Fortnite and <laughs> Epic gods, just my stay hope, away. <laughs> Go ahead, Malik. My hope, much rather less than a prediction, because I don't think this is going to have it, or I don't think it's going to happen, is I want Ratchet and Rivet um, as like uh, uh, the ice climbers. Like, that would be really yeah. cool. That, because the, the rift abilities added into, into Smash would just like stylistically be so cool um and it like kind of fits with the theme of like yeah. them traveling to different dimensions yeah. and different worlds oh like, man it would be a cool that's really adjustment. cool that'd i don't think cool. it'll happen but that would that's kind of would be so cool but uh, ratchet and, and clank style, would... cartoony and you know i think friendly. rivet may not happen but i mean ratchet and clank and then they put in that rift ability um from the new game awesome. that'd be really cool i could picture that already that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Kratos, we have in chat. Crash and Dante, yeah. another Dante. I think, honestly, okay. they may actually put Waluigi in. Waluigi? To end it off, I feel Waluigi. like... Waluigi. <laughs> I don't... 
I don't want to subscribe to this. I idea. don't want to. So, yo, you don't understand. I do not want Waluigi and Smash. No. But I feel like if they are ending the cycle on Smash right now, that Smash game, it will be Waluigi. I feel like they he's will. He's already deliver. in a cis trophy. Yes. Like, let's just leave the trash <laughs> to the side oh and God. get a good character Damn. in. Wow. Savagery. And there's where, where we end. The hot take. Very much so. And that's where we end the Smash talk uh, for right. now. I want to get into it's the year of the Legend of Zelda. This is exactly what Caboose said. Oh, I would oh, talk about. Year. Yeah, it's the year of Legend of Zelda, okay? Um, okay. We're celebra- celebrating the anniversary of the franchise. We know Skyward yeah. Sword is coming. I think we're going to mm-hmm. see more from that, probably in Amiibo, uh, more Amiibos revealed okay. around Skyward Sword. I think we also, and probably will, get a, a window for Breath of the Wild, too. Get an update. What's the window? What's the window? What's the window? <sighs> okay. Spring? No, because usually the April. I I feel like we'll probably yeah maybe spring maybe spring. Oh, but I want it this year. No, I'm going hard. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say that's their oh. holiday release. The holiday release oh. will be Breath of the Wild too. Love it. I I, mean, I agree with it you. It all depends if the pro comes or not. I don't think they release Breath of the Wild too. Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo's done really there. crazy things, though. They, I feel like, yes, it makes sense to align the pro with that. But I think another title, which I'll get to, will release alongside the pro. Um, but I think for Breath of the Wild, going back to that one, we're probably going to get another sneak. It won't be a long, um, you know, glimpse into Breath of the Wild in the update. We're going to get more of a sneak peek of the game. Maybe, maybe more on the story right Mm -hmm. we'll get that release window it'll be like holiday 2021 okay and then that's Mm -hmm. it for breath of the wild 2 i do want them to talk more about maybe other things for the legend of zelda that we could get this year so if that is maybe a remaster of ocarina of time i'd be really happy um but the other release that i think we're gonna see is maybe the next mario kart and i think that would release Mm -hmm. alongside the pro Oh, okay. Okay, I could see that. I could see that. And that would be for next year's spring, I believe. Right. Although a console usually yeah, would I be mean, holiday, but yeah. Yeah, because there are those I, reports I think, saying that the Switch Pro could come out as early as like September or October of this yeah. year. Yeah, and I, that would be huge. And plus, they just did that update for Mario. Uh, no, it was for Mario Party, not Mario Kart, right? Right, Mario Party. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then so I mean, we haven't seen a lot of Mario Kart recently, um, and honestly, I think Mario Kart's a game that's just gonna it just sells in droves over and over and over again, um, and everybody loves Mario Kart. So, mm-hmm. and I mean, as long as as long as they are providing more support for it than they have in the past, I think it can be successful. I don't think that it, Nintendo's at the state where they can just kind of throw and any kind of mario kart at people you know what i mean it has to be Mm -hmm. a a kind of polished experience and bring something new to the table otherwise people are just going to kind of shrug their shoulders no let's be real it's nintendo if they have a a console releasing alongside mario kart we're all buying it our money's there (laughs) it's 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 the way to have fun with it's like that comfort food right you go back to it because you know you and your friends are going to be able to interact you know the basics the fun of it all just introduce some new characters that we're already familiar with and bring back some levels from previous ones game sold there we go that's it that's all you need honestly yeah honestly is a, so as somebody who doesn't have a switch yet is <laughs> yeah, nintendo's sorry. online infrastructure solid enough to have like a yeah you're already shaking your head it, it, is mario kart gonna be a stable experience if you want to do online like that's my big issue that's my big worry because if mario there's not kart that connectivity online is fine. outside of your is it, it? it's, it's more of the communications like if you want to talk to your yeah. friends integrating how to communicate with your friends while you're playing that's we're not you gonna go see you that. go on discord yeah but to, to have like yeah. a stable game and to enjoy it it's fine it's solid yeah yeah it, because what I'll it is that's the main hurdle for Nintendo and their online is having those parental controls, making it safe for all family members 
um, Mm -hmm. and making sure like, you know, you're not getting really toxic people in chat. Right. And that's why they don't really open up to the full capabilities. So like any shooter experience on the switch won't be the same, but Mario Kart. Yeah. Find me in bed next to cookies. (laughs) <laughs> Own in some noobs in Mario Kart. I'm there. Definitely. Now, uh, Caboose, yeah, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, I, as I was just going to say like that. I completely agree. I think we're going to get that Breath of the Wild 2 like, big reveal, showcase, gameplay, the whole nine yards, release date, everything. I think they're going to finally go all out, give us everything that we wanted to know about the game. And as well, like we were talking about the Switch Pro, I, I think that's coming this year as well. And we're mm. going to see maybe a bundle with Breath of the Wild 2 because... Yeah. It's time not not that Nintendo needs to worry about playing catch up, but like we are well into the next gen consoles now when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo, Nintendo has to have something that is their equivalent and it'll right. be the Switch Pro and then to have a game that's going to match up to something like Halo Infinite for Xbox or yep. the infinite library of great exclusives from PlayStation. They're going to have their Breath of the Wild 2 reveal and uh, and that'll be the big new Nintendo game coming for everyone to get excited about. So I completely agree. Maybe, maybe this is the year of uh, Legend of Zelda, Camille. I guess uh, I guess it is. I hope. Well, every year for me is the year of Legend of Zelda. the year of Death Stranding. Oh, oh shut <laughs> it. Um, oh, you know, but I think... go ahead, Malik. Oh, I was just going to say my one big prediction is at the end of the press conference, you're going to see a, a flaming blue four and you're going to see a release no. date. No, no we're, we're not going to get Metroid. I think we get Metroid. Metroid. No. I, no, I want Metroid so bad. Why? No. What Why we're going to get is the developers on screen being like, we're working hard on Metroid and we're not ready to reveal it to you just yet. <laughs> yeah. But here is a remastered collection. <laughs> There's no I don't remaster- even think we'll get that. I don't think we're going to get a remastered we'll collection. No. Maybe something available on, um, you know, the virtual. I always say virtual console because that's what it was on the Wii. Um, but yeah. that on yeah, the online. Switch. Online, yeah. Nintendo Online. They need to come up with a quick like a cooler name for that it really isn't that cool but um i think that's what we're gonna get i do see raj in the chat saying diddy kong and chris saying diddy kong racing which i find is interesting because it is also the 40th anniversary of donkey kong and there's been rumors of a donkey kong game that's similar to mario odyssey i don't know if we're gonna get diddy kong racing that'd be cool but maybe it'll be on nintendo online like will we start seeing N64 games on Nintendo Online. That, that could be, be cool. pretty cool. That could be. But cool. I do want to say, I do want to segue off that uh, that idea though of because there have been this report of uh, the Odyssey team working on a new Donkey Kong game. A lot of the reports uh, seem to indicate that it's like a 2D uh, Donkey Kong game. My prediction, that's totally wrong. I, really? This is like, yeah. I, I I think, at least. Hopes and dreams. I want it to be the Mario Odyssey equivalent of Donkey Kong 64. Mm, okay. Give us that same oh, like man. kind of open world ass kind of thing, but you know, do exactly what Mario Odyssey did to Super Mario 64, but just adapt that to Donkey Kong. Because Donkey Kong 64, what an underrated game. Yeah, that that is such a good game. Yeah, I'll, although that. It does sound nice. I don't want to see it. Um, just because I want that Mario Odyssey feel to stay within that franchise. Mm, that's fair. I, I'm, you know, I'm, and Nintendo's done a really good job at making every franchise feel different because they're such yeah. strong franchises. So yeah. I want them to continue with that. Like, I'm. It's hard for me to see a Donkey Kong Mario Odyssey game that's not Mario Odyssey. If that makes sense. So I, I, I would be cool with the 2D. I'd be cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be um, down for that too. Yeah, fair enough. Cameron you, Winkler in the chat brought up Bayonetta 3. I was just about to say I yeah. think So was I. Ooh. Okay, I think I don't I think we see a tease of Bayonetta 3, but I don't think that Bayonetta 3 releases until the pro does for sure. Just oh, because well, Bayonetta sure. 2 was already pushing it. It was already mm-hmm. pushing it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. we will see something for Bayonetta 3. There's no way that we don't. No, I I agree with that. I think between because there were two big games that Nintendo kind of revealed and then stopped talking about immediately, and that was Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4. Yeah. There's, I, I think there's a very slim chance Metroid Prime 4 is even talked about, even discussed, even shown in any capacity. But I do mm. think this year is the time to kind of start talking about Bayonetta 3 and kind of at least teasing when this game could come out. I'm not saying yeah. this year or maybe even not even next year, but at least get something out there and start engaging uh, that this game 
Even Raj also again. says in the chat Splatoon 3. I was just about yeah, to mention that, yeah. yeah. That's a definite. We we got yeah. a game, we got that look of Splatoon 3, which looks really beautiful. I think also Splatoon would be another franchise they could possibly launch a pro around. Um, mm -hmm. There's a yeah. huge audience for that. I could picture how it would look already. It'd look all cutesy. Um, so I think we're definitely going to see more Splatoon. We're going to dive maybe into that world a bit closer, but I don't I don't think we're going to get a release date yet. It's just going to be mm. like, here, here's where we are with Splatoon. We can't wait to show you some more. And that's and that's kind yeah. of where that's they'll fair. leave it. And then they'll go into back to Pokemon. Do we think yeah. we're hey. going to see any of the new Pokemon titles? No. I don't think we see the brilliant diamond and uh, shining silver, right? You yeah. don't think we see mm. those? Wow. Because I, I th N Pokemon Company usually likes to do their own thing. Yes. And I think that's you get you. I think we get a Pokemon Direct like in August or even July or something. That's just like a half an hour of those games. Mm. Yeah, I, I. Oh, you are. They did. I, I got no dog in this. Thing. I don't know enough about Pokemon, so like. Sure, <laughs> Pikachu <laughs> or something, uh, no, but like I don't know. For me, yeah. like for, if we're if we're talking anything Nintendo, like yeah, there's there, there, it's it's actually interesting how much there is kind of in development or on the mm -hmm. way that we yeah. really haven't gotten too many updates about. Whether it's Bayonetta three, whether it's Splatoon three, whether it's you know uh, Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. like they just they have like a Metroid Prime, like they just have a bunch in the in the pipeline that we'll just have to wait mm -hmm. to get our hands on. And I feel no, like I, that's going to be a sorry, huge. I feel like that's going to be a huge message for all of E3. This is what yeah. we have in development. It's yeah. coming. <laughs> um, just because as these studios kind of figure out, as we're returning back to normal life, how that mm. looks, they're going to have to adjust their timeline. So I feel like it wouldn't necessarily be right if your project's way off to put a time to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not game development, so what do I know? Steve, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I want to throw out uh, one really behind the sky prediction. Um, whether or not this happens, who knows? But uh, in kind of recent uh, live streams and everything, you know, with Phil Spencer, he's had a Nintendo Switch in the background, and it leads me to to predict that oh, this fall, boy. Xbox Game Pass, we're getting that announcement. No. Yeah. Do now I do. No. I, I do think that it will happen, and I do put a bunch of caveats on here. I don't think it's going to come out and release in the full-fledged form that it is, like on Xbox or on mobile. Yeah. I do really think that if it does come to Nintendo, it's going to be like a tiered thing where you only have access to Xbox Game Studio titles. Mm. So okay. you only get like Sea of Thieves or Halo Master Chief Collection. And I do think that this is their way of integrating cloud gaming onto the Switch and kind of wait. Rectifying. Are you saying Halo on like the Nintendo Switch? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. That would be wow. massive. Yeah. I you yeah. have to throw in there rare. I think rare course, titles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that makes sense. But my issue. Okay, this is my issue Ooh, with that. Please, right? please bring up the issues. I don't know how how nintendo would want that to happen when they have nintendo switch online mm -hmm. that means that users would have to if you know they obviously could there's no information about this i'm just in my head right. yep. users would have to buy nintendo switch online to play games online that would be on game pass do you know what i'm saying and then you have to buy game pass to have mm, so right. it would have to be like a a combination of those two memberships to have access that's the only way i could see it in my mind for nintendo not to just ignore their nintendo switch online because they're always right. going to put that in the forefront so it's yeah. like how would they integrate yeah. the two that's why my brain's just kind of like i can't see it so i'm not seeing this announcement yet but if it happens man you win <laughs> i appreciate Steve, i think it. i've I think you're right, but I think instead of like exclusive Xbox Studios, we see like a select section of like indie. So you get like uh, my friend Pedro, my time at Porsche, Starbound, Spirit Fairer, like some of these smaller games that would work well on Switch, but doesn't necessarily like yeah. steal the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, yeah. that, that's that's interesting. Um, Masonator says, I think we'll see God of War on PC long before you'll see a Halo game on the Switch. I mean. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. 
I kind of believe, I mean, especially with like the rumor, well, not the rumor, but I guess the confirmation that they're planning on getting Uncharted 4 on PC. Right. Like, I think, but but I wonder, because we, I, I don't know if it was on the squad cast or if I was just talking with some, but I thought we had a conversation about this a long time ago. We were, we were expecting some of the, some of the big ones that are PlayStation games we wouldn't expect to come to PC, like Spider-Man or mm-hmm. like we talked about God of War. But now, like with Uncharted coming to PC, Horizon's already there. I'm sure something like Ghost of Tsushima could really benefit yeah. from being on the PC. That game is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, like, could it just be that, like, as time goes on, just to maximize on revenue, that they want to bring games to PC eventually? That, that seems like, to align you, with you what... Think, yeah. Do you think now it's just more likely that we mm-hmm. can expect Spider-Man on PC eventually? Yeah. Or whatever, maybe God of War, you know? Like... I, I wonder. I, do. I, do. I, don't, very I don't think it, I don't think it'll be until a lot like later, similar to what they did with the first Horizon, similar to what they've done with a lot of the other games that they've brought to PC so far. But there, there is just, just from what they're doing and having Uncharted Four being in the running now to come to PC, it sounds like that that's just something they want to do to mm-hmm. just again to maximize on that revenue. <laughs> like, to just maximize a game. A game a game's run its course on the PlayStation and people bought it, played it, loved it. And they say now, hey, OK, everyone already spent their money on our product or on our console and stuff. So why don't we just put this out on PC again and just have a bunch more people excited to play? You know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think we see. About. I think we see that before we see Xbox Game Pass on PS4 and or PlayStation in any capacity. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's because oh, yeah. they <laughs> they would just make the move and say, "Yeah, we'll just throw our stuff on PC, and, and that'll be good enough for us for the next five years <laughs> until we have to make another move." Mm. Well, um, I think what a lot of these publishers are realizing is that there's a bunch of gamers on PC that they haven't tapped into yet. There's still that barrier. So mm-hmm. instead of making everything exclusive, you do that, you know, the year exclusive, then have it release on PC. So we're going to just, I think it's just, we're going to see more games going to PC after a year or two, or, you know, even three years down the road after launch, um, just to get PC players excited about something like God of War. They experience it. That would hopefully have them next time there's a PlayStation console be like, I'm going to buy PlayStation for the next God of War so I can play it right away. That's how you yeah. tap in and expand your yeah. audience, right? So it only yep. makes sense, yeah. I think, for them to do that. Um, but yeah, we'll never, I don't think we'll ever see uh, Xbox game on uh, exclusive on PlayStation ever. So no. No, um, I do not, want not never, <laughs> <laughs> not not never. Um, yeah. So I do want to continue because Steve talked about how we're probably not going to see Pokemon, or he believes we're not going to see anything yeah. Pokemon at the Nintendo Direct. But do we think we're going to get updates on other things like Mario Golf? Are we going to see some Mario Golf there? Monster yeah. Hunter stories. Yeah, I mean, yeah. why why not? Yeah. You know? what yeah, we- and I mean, we had this conversation before kind of in the pre-show of like is e3 really going to be like here's all these new crazy announcements you never thought you would see or is it just going to be more of that fan service of like hey here's some updates on a game on some games we're working on here's some updates for you know content updates for games that you already have Mm -hmm. and then that's it and because like you said nintendo has their directs and their directs are successful like yeah it's pure numbers their directs are so successful and they can pull it off on their own so i I don't see like a lot of these big announcements. I, I, I think we are just going to get more fan service and updates. I agree with you. It's totally fair. Yeah. I don't know. I agree with you. Way.